Today, I want to talk about how to play the blues in under five minutes. Anyways, so basically the first thing is, you know, the blues, 12 bar blues. And basically it's the one chord, going to the four chord, back to the one chord, uh, five, four, one, five, one. And basically uh, you go through there and you go look at the pattern very quickly online, the 12 bar blues. Um, basically the shape I want you to do is take your first finger and we're going to put it on the one, two, three, fourth string. And that's how we count one, two, three, four. And it's going to be on the second fret, one fret, two fret, three fret, like that. And then we'll put an open A, and basically it gives it an A and E, is that sound there. And that's the fifth. And then I want to play the sixth, which is going to be four. It's going to, so it's going to be open fifth string and the fourth fret of the fourth string. So it's going to be two beats each. And that's that shuffle that everybody knows, and when you start playing it, oh, it sounds great. To play the D one, I'm gonna play the open, and same thing, second and fourth. I wanna make sure everybody understands, I'm playing the open, fourth string, and the second fret of the third string, and the fourth fret of the third string. At the same time, back to A. Five is the E chord, so I'm going to play open E, which is the sixth string, and the second frets and fourth frets of the fifth string. Back to D. Back to A. And a lot of times I like playing the, the five seven as this is a, as a chord because uh, it kind of helps everybody realize, okay, hey, I'm about to turn back around and play this again. So that's basically the pattern uh, of it. And it sounds a lot more cooler than just playing the chords, which can work. To D. Back to A. solo, if you want a solo, basically it's based off the pentatonic scale. If you can remember this, it's all fives, like that. And then basically it's going to be, first string is going to be an eight, second string is going to be an eight, and the sixth string is going to be an eight, and all the rest are seven. So basically at that point there, three, four, and five are on seven. So you just remember where your fingers go on the fives, sevens, or eights. Uh, basically fives are all the strings eights and the sevens and you can start so and if you want to throw the blues in there go on the six on the fifth string five six seven and then throw that seven in it's an eight now Seven, so five, seven, eight on the third string, and then you'll start bluesing like crazy. So, here's a turn around. Of course, always in on the tonic, on the A chord. And of course, the one thing that you have to do to play the blues is listen to a lot of blues. And that's how you get the sounds into your ear and it will come out through your fingers and you will be bluesing all day long. Hope, you, hope this helps out. Rock and roll, everybody. Yeah!